Jim, many congratulations. Off and running here in the Grand Slam of Darts. Just sum up how you're feeling after that. It's just a bit of a relief, really. Um, I was disappointed with yesterday how it went. Um, I think I was trying a little bit hard, but yeah, to win today is good. I say touching on playing too hard, is that because it was against the world champion, the world number one? I don't think so. Um, it was just like, obviously, we don't get to play on telly that much, and you, you try and play and show what you can do, and then, yeah, it doesn't always work. On to today's game, no much better, averaging over 100 for most of it until the end. Very good double success rate, you must be happy with that. Yeah, it was good. I was happy all the way through, really. The last leg at the end was just a little bit twitchy, but that happens sometimes. Going into a must win game, is that more pressure on your shoulders? Not really. I think you just, you just try you try and win every game you play in. So yeah, not really. But four nil up. Did you relax maybe a little bit too much? We saw the missed starts at the end. Was it a little bit coasting to the line mentally? Yeah, I think yeah, probably was to be fair. And then he put a great fifth leg in to be fair. So it, it does kind of unsat you a little bit. But yeah, we just snuck the last one. As well in this group format, playing Michael first was that a huge bonus for yourself, knowing that if you were still alive, you wouldn't have to play him in that final game. Yeah, of course. Um, it, it it was a perfect draw, I think, for me because like, although you, the pressure's on you trying to perform, like everybody expects Michael Michael to win, so the, the, the pressure was different with that. When the draw came out, what was your thoughts on it? Because it was a very tough group. Great. Yeah, great. Yeah, you don't get a chance to play these guys very often, so yeah, to play two of the multiple world champions, perfect. Playing in this environment, playing against the best, has this given you the bug to try and come over next year? Um, it's just, it, it, it's awesome playing in this, it's just, when everything's right for me, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go. Adrian Lewis, up last on Tuesday, thoughts on the game and how you beat him? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I'm just going to go and give it a go. I'm happy that it's in my hands now, so that's all I could have asked for, really. Winning the World Trophy, has that given you the belief that you belong on these bigger TV events and can you go on and win that with that experience? It's, yeah, of course it does, but yeah, the World Trophy is a little, like I walked into the room in a World Trophy and I thought, like, I can win this. This is a bit of a different game, so yeah, it gives you confidence. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Jim, pleasure as always, thank you very much. Cheers, guys. I think Michael Van Gogh in the first time was always going to be a tough encounter, but I think against Adrian Lewis after a win there, your confidence must be, must be sky high. Yeah, I, I just don't, I, I personally don't think about it too much, you know, I just take game by game, so yeah, just it's nice to win. And what do you make of the venue Because it's a completely different atmosphere and a completely different animal to what you face in the BBO. Yeah, personally I find it so much easier to play in this because you're not picking out certain voices and the pressure doesn't seem quite so much on you, so yeah, I, I find this a lot better. Thank you very much, Jim. Cheers.